So the final presentation is devoted to the place of the chemotherapy in the what we call the intermediate recurrent score population when you apply the Oncotype DX testing in uh, hormone receptor positive early breast cancer, node negative, and then you have a recurrent score between 11 and 25. Actually, uh, we have to remember that uh, during the first presentation of the Taylor Ricks results in this group, in the overall population, there was no demonstration of uh, impact of the adjuvant chemotherapy. So the endocrine treatment was considered to be potentially the, 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 the new reference in this situation. However, in the patient that are aged less or equal to 50 years, then uh, there is a signal that when the intermediate score uh, between 16 and 25 uh, is here, it might be that this patient benefit from some chemotherapy. So a second analysis of the Taylor X trial was uh, done, uh, taking into account what uh, they call the clinical risk according to the tumor size and the grade of the tumor. And then when you mixed the clinical risk with the intermediate R score, uh, high score, intermediate score, sorry, splitting between 16, 20 and 21, 25, you can identify a population even uh, in intermediate risk score for those patients that are less or equal to 50 years that do benefit from chemotherapy. So I think that the response actually, looking at the Taylor X trial, is pretty clear that for the menopause and uh, patients that are aged more than 50 years, we don't need to apply chemotherapy, but for the youngest one, there is still some uncertainty and there is still some population that might benefit from chemotherapy in the adjuvant setting. Mm -hmm.